Okay guys, I'm gonna try to make this short and sweet as possible. Uh, this is a closed uh, coolant system on a 3.5 high output V6 engine on a 04 Intrepid and I'm gonna show you how to bleed it. Um, let's just say you get your uh, water pump changed or your thermostat or your uh, heater core um, your system is going to be drained to do that so uh, once everything's back together there's going to be about four quarts of uh, antifreeze in your system so what I did was um, when you first start out you fill your reservoir up to the max fill line and um, I attach a hose in this case this is a uh, oxygen hose from the hospital works pretty good I attach that to the bleeder screw which is down there uh, underneath this intake plenum it's kind of hard to see but there it is let me pull this off so you could see better there it is there's that little bugger um uh, where was I? Oh, okay, so what I'm going to do, or what I did, was that I took the screw loose. And make sure your radiator cap is off with fluid at max full. And crack that loose. Not all the way. Then you're going to squeeze this hose like that, and you heard it go off. I want to put the camera down real quick. And I'm going to tighten the bleeder screw. There, I tightened it. And then right when I tightened it, I let go of the hose. You're going to do that about... Oh, damn airplane. You're going to do that about a million times. And you're going to do the same thing, if you can, to the bottom radiator hose. And that's just working the air out of the system. At the same time, you're going to kind of watch the reservoir and see if the fluid is going down. It will go down just slightly. Um, and then, you know, you keep it full. But, yeah. And this is going to be... This is going to... This is going to take place in cycles. This is like my seventh or eighth cycle doing this, and I'm about done. And it is quite a lengthy process. So, you know, if you're taking your car to a shop and you got mechanic says calls you up on that same day, hey, it's done, it's done, or even the next day, you know, you know, your car's ready to go. I'd be kind of leery that they did get the air out of the system because, uh, you know, I work second shift and I spent uh my mornings trying to get this done this is like my third day trying to get the air out and i'm thinking i'm finally getting there so that's why i'm that's why i'm saying just use uh exercise a little uh, uh precaution when you got uh shop mechanics telling you that you know they your car is done ready to go and anyways i'm I'm starting to ramble. I, I told you this would be a short and sweet video. Sorry. Anyway. Okay, so with that was with the engine off, like I had just sh shown. Um, to recap, crack the bleeder, screw open, squeeze the hose, tighten the bleeder screw, watch your level on your reservoir, keep it full to max cold. So this being my seventh or eighth cycle, want to make sure that's tight this cap is going to be off and I got antifreeze in there it's went down a little bit I'm using a 50 50 mix I'm actually using antifreeze and I added uh, distilled water half and half to the antifreeze <clears throat> And another important thing to note, when you first do this, you're not going to get any, you're supposed to uh, turn on your heat full, 
at full max hot. I'm gonna, you're not gonna get any hot air on your, definitely not on your first or second cycle. Um, I just now got hot air out of here. But I'm gonna start this up. And we're a little bit at temp. Let's watch the, uh, Okay, the antifreeze is going down a little bit. It's sucking it down. <clears throat> it won't at first. But as you're bleeding and bleeding, by the fifth or sixth time, it will start to go down and reach that heater core, which will allow it to uh, blow hot air. Also, you want to make sure that your thermostat opens. How you know is your, as you're servicing this, it'll then sit at a certain level for a while. And once your thermostat opens, that level is going to go down. That's when you add more antifreeze to the reservoir. Just until, uh, you know, before it gets to temperature. Uh, by that I mean before it gets to uh, medium temperature you want it to have that level coolant level kind of stable and then it'll slowly work its way up to the neck once it works its way up to the neck you put the cap on it So yeah, we're blowing nice warm air out these vents now. And it was ice cold at the very beginning, but at the first cycle, now it's getting nice and warm. And we're not even on the we're, on, we're not even on the second mark. We're just below the second mark, so that's good. <laughs> Another thing to note is that when you when the air bubbles are out enough so that the coolant reaches the heater core you're not going to get you shouldn't get to uh the middle of the of the coolant of the temperature range anymore you should be about where that needle is right now about uh three eighths up so with that being said I'm gonna put the radiator cap on there now because I know that the fluid is stable enough. I know that my thermostat is open. Make sure you close that tight. I'm gonna crack open this bleeder screw. Got a 10 millimeter socket. Attached to a extension here. Got the hose on there. Use this pair of pliers to make sure it's on there good. Kind of take the kink out of it. With a wooden mallet. After giving the hose a, a squeeze or two, working that last bit of air out of the system. It wants to. And 
there we go. We got a nice steady stream. Like I said in the beginning, it's just going to sputter a lot and spit out bubbles and just spray. But this is the most consistent I, I had this so far. Yeah, that's a nice stream. Man. That's a good stream there. I would say that is bubble free, guys. Oh, there's a little burp right there. There's going to be burps here and there. But I'm thinking this is good to go. And that's how you bleed a closed system, guys. Hope this has helped out. Till next time. I forgot to tell you guys how you know you're almost done with the bleed is if you're getting a steady stream of fluid through that hose and then you get nothing that means it's now taking it out of the reservoir so on your final bleed you do this with the cap open keeping it serviced and making sure that that line is solid which it mostly is. There you go.